guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is this soft makeup look with this bright pop of yellow and green on the eyes which is going to be perfect for summer. We're going to get started off by prepping our eyes and I'm going to be using a full coverage concealer for this just because I was feeling something a little bit different to the soft ochre paint pot because the paint pot could be quite drying on my eyes. So I'm just going to be applying this all over with my fingers and I'm going to be applying a peach smoothie eyeshadow from Makeup Geek into my crease as our first transition shade. We basically want to keep everything on the lid very very neutral because the rest of the colours on the inner corner and the bottom lash line are going to be very very bright. You're going to keep all of the neutral tones in the crease and also on the lid. So I'm just using this peach smoothie shade to blend into my crease and then I'm also going to be taking creme brulee also by Makeup Geek and be taking this on that same brush and just applying it into the deeper part of my crease just to give us a little bit more definition. Then I'm going to be taking Mocha, which is also a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and just be applying this again into the deeper part of my crease. And I'm also going to be taking this into the outer V, just to define the outer corner to lift our eyes upwards. And then I'm just going to be taking that brush from before and just blending everything out. And then I'm going to be taking Magic Act, which is my favourite foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's just the most beautiful light gold and it's so shimmery and it just goes on absolutely perfectly. So I'm just applying this all over the lid to give us a nice pop of shimmer. And I'm just going to be making sure to kind of create a tiny little cut crease effect. And then I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow, I believe, and just be applying this onto my lid on top of that just to give a little pop of glitter. And then I'm going to be taking the Isla 126 lashes. I just wanted to show you guys a close-up because look how gorgeous these are. I think Isla have really stepped up their lash game. Their lashes are so gorgeous. These are just a really nice pair of lashes to define my eyes and you can completely go for just a little bit of mascara if you wanted but I wanted to go for a little bit more of a dramatic look even though it is quite natural at the same time. And then I'm just going to be tight lining my waterline, the top waterline and this is just going to kind of blend my lashes to my actual eye a little bit better. Next I'm going to be priming my skin as always with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. This has without a doubt become one of my favourite primers. It keeps everything on for such a long time and it just absolutely smooths my skin so beautifully. And then I'm going to be applying my foundation. I mixed together the L'Oreal True Match foundation and also the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid just because I wanted a medium coverage, nothing too heavy. Because this is a summer look, I wanted it to be quite a light base, so I applied this all over and then I'm building up coverage on the areas where I feel need a little bit more coverage. Um, I wanted it to be quite light and natural, so I'm just applying some concealer under my eyes and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my favourite concealer because it's actually really lightweight and it doesn't feel like you're wearing too much makeup. And I'm just applying this in all the areas that I want to bring forward. And then I'm taking my sponge again and just blending that into the rest of my complexion. To get into all the little areas my sponge cannot reach, I'm going to be using the Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. This is my favourite brush, you guys know that by now. <laughs> And then I'm going to be taking my Soap and Glory Instant Retouch Powder and this is just going to set everything, make everything look nice and matte and it means it's going to stay on a really long time. Next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows and I'm using a new brow pencil for the first time. You guys know that I always use my MAC brow pencils. This is a Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil. I really like this guys. It's really natural and you guys know that I like to go for a fairly natural brow now. And it's just really nice because you can define your shape without it looking too harsh. And the colour that I'm using is hot chocolate. And as you can see it's really nice. It's not too dark and it has a little spoolie on the other end of it. Just like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And it's just really good and very very cheap as well so I highly recommend this I can see this becoming one of my favorite brow pencils ever and I'm just also going underneath that with some concealer just to tidy everything up 
Then I'm going to be applying the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk onto my inner corner and my bottom lash line. This is just going to make the colours we apply on top of it appear a lot brighter. And then I'm going to be taking this sleek ultra matte bright colour palette I believe and I'm just going to be taking this bright green colour and be applying it with a pencil brush onto my bottom lash line and I'm also just going to make sure to take it out and join it to my outer corner and then I'm going to be taking this very bright yellow colour and just be applying this onto my inner corner and this is what ties the whole look together and just makes it look so bright and summery and this is just a really fun way to wear yellow when you don't want to wear too much of it and this is just really nice and wearable at the same time and then I'm also taking that NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and be applying that to my waterline to make my eyes look nice and bright. And then to finish off, I'm just going to be applying some mascara to my bottom lash line. Then I'm just going to be bronzing up my skin. I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark to just give myself a little bit more of that bronzed glow. And then I'm also going to be applying some blush, which I actually never do. But because I had lots of colour going on, I used the Baked Blush by Milani in Luminoso. And then I'm just taking some Becca Opal Highlighter and just be applying that onto the high points of my face. And then for the lips, I wanted to go for a really neutral lip because the eyes kind of do the talking in this look. So I'm just going to be applying Stripped Down Lip Pencil from MAC. And then on top of that, I wanted to apply something peachy, but not too peach at the same time. So I decided to use Peach Stock Lipstick also from MAC. And this is just a really nice peach nude. So guys, at the end of this look, I hope that you enjoyed this really simple but easy to achieve makeup look. It's really, really simple and I am so in love with it. I just wanted to let you guys know as well that I won't be uploading this Sunday just because it is my birthday weekend. It's my birthday on Saturday and I've just got plans and I just wanted to enjoy my birthday. So I hope that you guys understand and I will see you guys on Tuesday for my next upload. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Take Okay.